Oh god, I'm scared. Ready? Remember this? Back in August, I was showing the boys how to wheelie a mobility scooter, and I mentioned don't do this because there are a lot of things that can happen. And among the things that I listed was the seat breaking. Well, guess what? It was like seriously hot today. In the shelter here, anyways, like a little greenhouse. I have a bit of a problem with the mon uh, not the monster. That's a big problem. A yes, 950. The seat frame is breaking, so I have to. <laughs> try to fix that temporarily for now anyways I'm hoping I have an idea how to do it and I'm hoping it'll work yep we will see Right there is where it's broke, both sides, right where the bolt goes through, so on its own it's not going to go anywhere but when it's on the scooter this pulled up and the back is pushed down and this whole thing flexes and that's not good because <laughs> at some point this is going to let go and something in between here is going to start bending probably this bar twisty twisty. So I gotta do something about that. I have an idea. At this old this is a sprinkler post that goes in the ground, it's solid steel. So I'm thinking, once I cut this, if I can put it across here. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this end, but I do have a bunch of hose cr clamps that I bought today. I can put them along this side. I wonder if just one would work it there. Okay, that would keep it from twisting. Those clamps have a million and one uses. I really like them. <laughs> so I'm going to try this anyway, see what happens. Ow! Blast your ears out for a second. And this is plugged into the same outlet as the camera, so I'm not sure how the camera is going to react to that. We will see.
Here's a little piece of advice. Don't cut steel with a angle grinder when you're wearing sandals. Ouch! Molten lava all over the place. That really hurt. <laughs> I do it again. <laughs> I just don't feel like going in and put shoes on. Holy crap, that hurts. Hopefully, they will work. Now I'm wasting that steel. That's an old lawn sprinkler. That's just the, the post that went in the ground. Had to do a spike on the end. It's in the ground, and at the top of it was the plastic sprinkler. They hooked a hose up to it, and it's got a little thing on the top that's supposed to spin. It's got kind of helical grooves in it. So when the water sprays out, it's supposed to make it spin, and the whole thing just is designed to behave like rain. But it, it worked as a sprinkler, but it, it, it never did spin. <laughs> right from day one, it never worked. It has a little spinny thing on the top. was uh, a little too tight. I don't have a use for it anymore anyway, so... I'm going to use this deal. Apparently the sparks burnt the cup carpet too. That's what I was smelling. I thought that was my leg hair. These things are strong enough because there's a lot of leverage on that. same way because this plate's in the way. So what I need to do I guess it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. What I'm gonna do <coughs> is hope this will twist around. I'm hoping it's long enough. Yeah, 
just be long enough. I can do a lot of twisting though. It could be interesting. Ah, the sleeve is sticking to the Uh oh. This might not work. Once again, I need three hands. I want to hold it in place. I want to squish it together. And one to screw the thing tight. Oh, come on. Which one I think I got it in beside it. Going under an angle. One size too small. The bad part is, I know I have hose clamps somewhere. And I'll probably have a bigger one. But I looked, I could not find them. So I had to buy a whole bunch when I went out today. Uh, got an idea what I'm going to do with the monster too. <clears throat> but that's not right now at this moment. <coughs> oh, <cow. coughs> I don't know. Get in there. Let me keep going up to this side. Almost there, and then it turns. Maybe it'll be pushed at the same time. What hurt? I think it did. Excellent. The idea is how strong is this going to be? Sit on the seat and I lean back, that's gonna snap. Hmm. Yeah, you see, it was good for the front. I think they're hung in a cast out. Now that's why it wasn't working, I was only grabbing one tooth, one groove. I get an idea. This will probably make it too big. Okay. Is it possible to attach two of these together? I've never tried this. This works with zip ties, why won't it work with this, right? I'm gonna find out. I think that might work. I don't know how strong it's going to be, but... Probably just temporary anyway. Around the bolt. 
very Close to street as I can. Yeah, cut off old. Guess we'll have to find out. Baxter, don't start barking. It's been good so far. front one on it, I think I put the back one on This one's really messed up on this side. I'm glad this is working out so easy. Because I thought I was going to have to take the seat frame apart to get at this, but all oh, the bolts are rusty. That would not be easy. Well, not all the bolts, but a lot of them are. Tightens against a or around a square tube. As you start to bend, and then you gotta move the bend along it as it's tightening up. Okay. Hopefully they'll hold. <laughs> I'll find out if they don't.
The seat weighs about half as much as the monster's seat, but it's still heavy. Apparently I broke one of the wires off for my camera power supply. I gotta solder that back up. <clears throat> That's because I forgot there was a plug there. I wasn't going to do this today because I just don't have the time, I, the energy, I should say, I tell you don't have the time. Don't have the energy that really, really hot out. And well, I guess that's it. Just <laughs> those two. But I just... I need to get this going. It's driving me insane not being able to use it. I'm still paying for it. And of course I get the flat tire I gotta fix as well. Another one. is released. Anybody that knows about these things, is it good to have that much play in the gears? I don't think that's right. That's just, that's too much play. And that's one thing that makes me worry about this. Uh, of 
course I overheated now overheated the motor trying to get this stinking thing home with the brakes stuck on so, kind of melted the waterproofing it looks like I don't know but with it like that that should be give me an error okay so with it in manual mode it gives me error code 9 like it should so this it's now in drive mode the brake should be engaged and when I move the throttle why is that moving so much what is moving it just seems like this frame is twisting oh I don't like that This should work. Should. But now I'm confused. I'm still getting an error code 9. Let's see. I can't check this wire or these wires because they go into the brake. Right. Oh, they're wired up to the switch. Or, yeah, the switch. They're good there. Yeah, as you've seen before, I bypassed the switch with a fuse. Just connected the terminals together to make it kind of permanently closed circuit. And I'm going to put the tester on it. Okay, it wasn't the switch, sorry. I finished what I was talking about. That might be the error code 9 right there. The wire has come out. So I put the te voltage tester on these leads right here. It's getting the full voltage. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get my test lead. <coughs> okay, so test one to this end. Then pull you up over here so you're not gonna short out on anything. Keep it away from the other one. And then this one here. And we'll attach it over here. So that should now be attached. And it should not give me error code 9. Okay, that solved that problem. It's now a go. So I'm going to test at the throttle. Hopefully it doesn't fall off the jack. <coughs> Yeah, we'll see what happens. I didn't see where that smoke came from. But you can clearly see what happened there. I might have to watch this on the video to see where the smoke just came from. I didn't see it.
don't want to melt it anymore. Even the power wire is hot. I was hoping the brake itself is not hot. It's warm. This right here, that worries me. It's almost like there's a broken gear. And that snap there, it's either the brake just came on or it's the, the gear. I don't know. Because. You can see right there that grease is dripping out of here. It's dripping out of the the uh, bearings. And I almost wonder if it's the bearing that's causing this problem. Oh, I don't want to have to take the thing apart. Do not want to take the transaxle apart. I don't know. I might have to. So I think before I do that, I take the motor off. Ow, it's still hot and run the motor not connected to see if it's still doing it. If it's still doing it, then it's either the brake or the motor. If it's not doing it, then I gotta explore further. Yay. Okay, well, I'm done for today. I'm not gonna deal with this right now. I'm not gonna deal with this right now. didn't go as good as I hoped. Dang it. Not impressed, I'll tell you that. I'm not impressed with this thing at all. I thought it was such a... Oh, man, that's hot. I thought it was such a, a great machine when I bought it. All excited garbage. And people will say, well, you've done this to it, you've done this to it, and you got all that extra weight. Well, even with this extra weight, I have not exceeded the rider weight limit. So, and, and the thing is, other people that have these are having the same problems. So, to agree anyways, I got a lot more miles on mine probably, but you know, a lot of the same issues. And so it's not me. It's everybody. It's this machine. The way it's designed, I guess. I don't know, something... Whatever it is, it's definitely... Something that's designed into it is causing problems. Oh, I'm done. I'm gonna clean up. I got the S950 working now again. So that's it.